President has approved a 1,000 peso pension hike this month with a corresponding 1.5 contribution rate hike in May 2017 and an increase in monthly salary credit to 20,000 pesos from 16,000. He seeks to fulfill a social contract with the Filipino people, especially the elderly and the poor who gave the best years of their lives in service. While exercising fiscal responsibility to ensure the economic sustainability and protect the gains made by those who have prudently invested in the nation's future. As the President has emphasized, he is the President of an entire nation and not just a particular social class. In this regard, the funds covering the increase will be through current contributions and investment reserve fund. The President is not amenable to using taxpayers' money to fund pension increase since the SSS is a private pension fund. Its total assets are $487 billion as of October 2016, and its fund life is until 2042. Even with the 1,000 peso increase, the fund life will continue until 2040 by May 2017, when the contribution rate and increase in monthly salary credit is implemented. By May 2017, a 1.5 contribution rate increase will be implemented, or 12.5 percent from the current 11 percent contribution rate. In peso value, the additional total contribution will range from 15 pesos to, 700, to 740 pesos, equally shared by employer and employee. The proper perspective is to view SSS as a long-term savings and not as an expense. And actively paying SSS members, after all, enjoys benefits, specifically six benefits, and loan privileges. To ensure sustainability, SSS is setting in place, one, a legal, legal action plans to reduce contribution delinquency. For example, intensify legal collection on referred delinquent and non-compliant employers. Another action is executive interventions needed to improve collection to the issuances of executive orders. To further clarify and to be able to go in depth, I'd like to call on Secretary Amado Valdez. <laughs> 